Today I have Zach Wilson, a USC football player, on summer break. And so today we're just taking him through a workout he's never experienced Pilates before. And I'm opening up his world to a whole new workout. And so we're just going to get going and he's going to ask some questions as we go. And we're going to show Zach how Pilates can be beneficial for even the most intense athlete, a football player for USC. All right, Zach, so today we're gonna to start in neutral pelvis. We just have a little bit of space between our little back. So we wanna have that natural curve. You're in an athletic position. You're technically in a squat. So I want you to feel like as you press into your heels, your toes are active, and you're gonna root down into the base rather than just push and just do. I want you to feel like you extract the length and grow. So you're gonna feel the inhale as you push away. This is a simple squat. So I want you to imagine you're just growing through a squat. Mm -hmm. And what happens in Pilates, I think is really different. So as you come down, you're gonna breathe out, which is different yeah. as an athlete for your breath. And here's why. As we inhale through the nose, in Pilates we're trying to create length and strength and opening. And as we exhale, when you're most vulnerable in a squat position, when that load is coming down is when we need to core the most. So as you press away, inhale, and exhale, come down. What I love about putting an athlete on the bed is that they have the support for their spine. And so it's giving him that natural support of the bed as he presses away. He's trying to feel the length of his legs without locking up his knees. And then as he's coming down, he has that eccentric load and that control. As he's pressing away, he has that strength that he's used to, that control, that push, that explosive power, that ready to go, the load. But a lot of times what happens is with athletes is the control and the connection. So as he's inhaling, pressing away, supernatural, as he's coming down, I'm gonna make him what we call negative training, is really controlling the, the descent. So go into one more, inhale. And now as you come down, take it slow. Four, three, two, stay deep in your seat, fire in your glutes, feel the load in the base of the triangle of your pelvis, and feel that slowly come down. Good. So now as he changes the position of his feet, a lot of times what happens with athletes is their feet, they've been in you know, cleats and they're super tight, but as we take the, the shoes off, we have a lot more proprioceptive connection and neurological feedback. And so he's gaining and having to feel how this affects his feet and the alignment from his ankles to his knees. Probably not something we think about very often when we actually have shoes on. So as he presses away, we're gonna inhale, breathe in through the nose, and as you exhale, I want you to feel your ribs, abs, pelvic floor work. So we're going to talk a little bit real quick about the Pilates breath. As you inhale, the idea in Pilates is that you're always working your core. So I want you to go ahead and take your hands up to your heart. Good. All right, there, good. And as you inhale, I want you to feel like these are your lungs. Go ahead and press away. And feel like they expand left and right. That's stay engaged. As you exhale, breathe out. And feel those intercostals, those obliques, the rectus abdominis, and the pelvic floor. So the idea is that for every breath, you're working your core. Inhale, and as you exhale, wrap those ribs and abs. I want you to really feel the support of the arches of your feet. Mm -hmm. I want you to feel the alignment. Our three pillars of fitness and movement are anatomy. So your anatomy you're working right now, as you press down into your base, I want you to feel kind of your sit bones. You see that little pressure? Mm -hmm. So load into your legs a little bit more. Where? Good, right there. So you find, you find the fire in your sit bones? Yep. Okay, so glute max. Now as you start to press away, and we're working a little bit more of that internal structure of the whole femur sitting in the pelvis, the deep uh, six, the glute medius and minimus. All of that's firing in, and a little bit more control as you press away, good job. Inhale, press away, feel wide, feel the breath expand like an accordion, and as you exhale, ribs, abs, pelvic floor, feel that connection in the base of your seat. Good. All right, so we're gonna do one more and then Zach's gonna, we're gonna open up the floor and see what Zach has to say mm -hmm. about how things feel. So we're gonna wrap the toes around. So take your feet down. We truly call this a bird on a branch. So as you press away, you keep your hands there for a moment. Press away, extend those legs all the way out. Good. Now, as you drop your heels, I want you to feel like your heels just get to drop without locking your knees. Good. So we can feel that stretch in the Achilles. You got the gastroc and the soleus getting a nice stretch. Now, I want you, as you come down, keep those heels down, bend the knees, exhale. And I want you to feel how low can you go without letting the heels change. Mm, I think that change. <laughs> yeah. Right there. Yeah. So this is about the flexibility of the feet. Uh, very important for a receiver as he is to be fast on his feet and to be able to be quick. 
And so as we, we don't want to just be able to explode, we also want to be able to have that bend. So this is a great exercise for him to stretch the Achilles tendon and also to have mobility in the ankle joint itself. Mm -hmm. So inhale, press away. Now exhale as you come down. Go ahead and come down. Take the hands down at your side and just feel like your palms face up. Good. And then inhale, you're going to press away, reach the arms up. This little movement in the arms is just a little extra coordination. So what, what I'm seeing as I, he comes down is that his feet kind of fall into the flatness of the arches of his feet. So we have kind of a strength discrepancy with the VMO firing or something with the tightness of his feet. So I would work on keeping those toes wrapped. Now press away. And now continue to come down and don't let anything change in your feet. Yeah, good. Yeah. Does it feel good? Yeah. Yeah. Solid. One more time. Inhale. And now I'm going to come from below. And now exhale. Come down. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep those knees hip distance apart. There you go. Keep coming. You got it. I'm going to slowly let the load release. Good. That's insane. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get that from anything else. No. And so what we, what did you, how did it feel for you? I think that in certain areas where an athlete like myself and an NFL athletes and high professional athletes need injury prevention and to target muscle groups that really can't be targeted through main exercise, I think that that's where this is a difference maker. And um, I think it's really beneficial just off that, of those two exercises. Yeah, awesome, exactly. For your quads and for the legs, I mean, something that you're using all the time. We always know that we need the strength, but whether you like it or not, Tom Brady, yeah. you know, his whole idea is to stay pliable and to stay mobile and mm -hmm. not just be a brick wall, yeah. but be able to bend right. and just to be able to take it. And so this is what it's designed to do. So what we're going to go into next is right single leg. I'm going to just show this real quick here. So as you set up here, I want you to feel how the heel is just pressing. You're going to load into that. Technically, this is a simple, like one-legged squat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're kind of sitting here in this position, we're going to challenge the alignment of the knee and heel. Okay. And then we're going to get into this work. And then as we press into this leg, we'll start to add some things with this in a moment. Okay, okay. so Solid just you can put your hands at your hips, just kind of like the ASIS. Good. Okay. And now press all the way out. I'm just gonna have you work four here. Inhale, press out, exhale, come down slow. Yeah. So he's used to feeling the work again of that strength of coming up off of the squat. But coming down into that and keeping that alignment. Now you can't really cheat with the alignment, especially when you have somebody watching you. It really helps good that patellar tracking and that VMO. One more time. Yeah, you got a little. And then come back in. Good. Okay, so now you're going to go out just half pulses. So press out halfway. And this one is going to stay tabletop. Good. <laughs> now come down. This is like you're coming in and you're like watching it and you're going to just come up halfway. Inhale, just halfway. Stay deep, stay deep. Ready, go. Eight, slow. Slow. And six, there you go. And five, and four, stay low, stay deep, three, and two, and one, good, <laughs> good, okay. all right, now we're going to take this leg and reach it out straight, see the thing is you don't have to do three sets of 15 with 500 pounds on your back, no. <laughs> so go ahead and press it all the way away, you know, good, now I'm having you work this leg, Eccentrically, just hold that isometric hold. Good. Now come only halfway down. So if you were standing, you're gonna come half and up. Good. Yep. And then just keep it smooth. So our our methods here are simple. This is a simple move, right? Not too complicated. Slow, smart, smooth. So we have equal strength and equal. So equal strength, equal length. And exhale. Good. Ooh. The idea is to work smarter 
and maybe harder, Safer. but not wear yourself out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta keep you healthy. Yeah. And the nice thing is too, what I love is that you don't have a heavy weight in compressing the spine. Mm -hmm. So you're really able to isolate the muscle group without having all of that, like truly, think about it functionally, like in football, are, is there ever been anybody coming over the top of you and compressing your spine with, you want to pass, right? No. What's going to happen is people are going to come at you. Mm -hmm. And so the ability to feel like your back is supported while your legs are working yep. is super functional, right. right? All right, so let's take this left heel, right leg, and we're going to talk about something a little different, and I'm going to let you ask me how, what you think about this. What would be your question? As you press away, we're just going to go out, inhale. So I think it was a more important question I have. Is it more focused on explosiveness or kind of a steady pace that involves engagement with the muscle? Yeah. So the think? nice thing is, is, is that we'll all give you a workout that's explosive. Mm -hmm. But right now, we always have a focus of intention. So if I say it's slow right now, our focus is slow. And the slow is to be able to, to really develop that control. Joseph Polites himself mm -hmm. called it controlology because you're trying to control the strength and the length, mm -hmm. the efficiency of your movement, the intelligence. Yeah. So we call this intelligent exercise because you really have to think it. You can't just do it. And so right now, we're working the strength. Now, if I get you going faster, which mm -hmm. we can, okay? Mm -hmm. You're ready? Yep. So stay low and just come as fast as you can. Good. And wear it out. So you don't have anything left. Go. Go. Burn out. How much more can you go? Go. Keep it. Keep it. Deep in your seat. Can I get another big button? Ten. Stay oh, low. Fast nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Perfect. So now. We'll, we'll do another workout here coming up soon okay. where you can explode and jump. Yeah. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go all the way out real quick. One leg? One leg still. This one's going to be straight. No, you got this one. Oh, this gosh. one's got to be straight. Okay. <laughs> what do you got left? Have we reached muscle fatigue? Are we in the threshold? It. Okay, so cross that heel. Fair. Not straight. No, straight. Yep, good. So I want you to feel like you're super strong in your core, mm -hmm. you're rock solid, okay? So okay. right now, you're trying to catch the ball and you're not going to let that guy push you over, okay. okay? So feel that. Now come down slow right there and stand. Good. And don't explode faster right now. Right now, steady. Yeah, good. Yeah. As long as we know what our goal is, there's a purpose for this and there's a purpose for that explosive. The purpose for the explosive would to get what kind of muscle fibers? Fast twitch. Fast twitch, right? Woo! Exactly. You so smart. No, USC education. <laughs> you got it. So <laughs> if you were wrong, we'd be in trouble, That'd right? Be bad. <laughs> 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 All right. So now when you come down super slow, we're working those slow twitch. Yeah. And work on those ones. And those ones are endurance. So those are the ones, yes, so good. I want two more just like that. So slow, deep in your seat. Don't let it go, feel it. Embrace the feel, feel the strength from the inside. Put your brain and your body where you're trying to connect strength from. There you go. That was nice. Yeah, that was, that was nice. perfect. 